Well, everybody, it is state of the collection time. Uh, so what is in this case right now is my full collection. Uh, I'm going to start this with the disclaimer that there are lots of other watches that I own. I know I buy stuff to review, but this is the stuff that I wear. And this is the stuff that is in my collection that I consider wearable. And then I come into this case which I bought, I think, on Amazon. And you can really see kind of some general thoughts here. But, you know, I'll give you a little tease and then we'll dive into it. This is going to be some massive video where I talk about every watch. All of these are reviewed on the channel. Um, so just take a quick peek. Ba bam. <laughs> Yeah, no, that was absolutely cheesy. But now I'm going to pop them out one by one and just kind of talk about them very briefly. And that'll be the end of this video. I'm not going to go, you know, an hour here talking in depth about each one. I'm probably not even going to mention product names because you can find all of this on the channel. I just want this to be kind of fun and I'm rambling and making it too long already. So let's get into these. All right, so first we got the, you know, Battle of the Aquanauts. You got the LXIGE and the Spectin Zone. Both of these are off the bracelets because I was going to you swap them out at one point. And these things are so damn difficult to get back in. You got to you got to take those little studs and not only line them up in there, but also do it while popping in the spring bars. And I got so frustrated that I just gave up. So these two have been sitting in the collection now for probably about a year unworn, but um, I do love them. I especially love the orange one, the Spectin Zone. So these are staying in the collection for now, absolutely. And I, I hope to get the straps back on when I'm feeling less frustrated. <laughs> Up next, we have, as always, the Explorer. This thing is never leaving the collection. I wear this basically every day and I don't see a reason to ever replace this watch, as I've said on here hundreds of times, but uh, this is as good as gold to me. So that stays. Staying on the theme of Rolex style watches, we got the Addy Dive and the Steel Dive. These are very similar watches. So, you know, do I need both of them? Not necessarily, but I think there's a good reason to have both. Just the different colorways are kind of nice, which I appreciate. And I think they're worth just kind of having for reference sake when I, I want to look back at other pieces. But these are both real solid watches. And I, as always, I do recommend them. But that's that's why they're staying in my collection, because I enjoy these. Up next are the Paganis that I still have in my collection. I have the Rainbow Daytona. We're going to zoom in a little bit just to make some of these a little nicer. We got the Rainbow Daytona, which I think is... A cool watch. It's kind of a conversation piece. I don't wear it a lot, but I do like to have it to wear. And it's fun to kind of just bust out every once in a while and have those conversations where people are like, oh, that's, that's a pretty cool watch. The other one that's stayed in the collection has been the Polar GMT. This is kind of like the Explorer 2 design. And I have it on this uh, nice undone made. So it's I still have the undone watch, which you'll see, but I really like this watch on the brown leather so it's been on there for the whole period of time and i really like it on it and this will probably stay in the collection also this i think is the last pagani i bought that i really really enjoyed so that's why this guy stayed in and he gets worn a, a decent amount still next up we have two other similar dive watches we have my original skx 007 this thing i've had for probably 15 years at this point this is the watch that got me into watches so this will never leave the collection i don't care how much extra money somebody offers me for it this guy is just sticking around and i don't really wear it a ton it's not my favorite style of watch but this has value to me that i, I like to keep in the collection and there's no reason for me to move on. But staying in this trend, I still have the Tandorio. So I, I know I've been corrected a lot and people said there are larger versions of this because this one is fairly small compared to the SKX. But I do like this in the collection. I don't wear it all the time, but I really like the rubber band that it is on. So that's why it's stuck around. And it is a, a really solid piece. I want to explore this brand more in 2024. But until then, this is the watch that's sticking in the collection. And I think is really, really cool. 
Staying with quartz uh, dive watches, up next, I'll do these together, but these are both Sterling Depth Masters. I have the one that's more GMT style on the metal bracelet, and then I have the other Depth Master on the rubber, kind of Duro style strap. Uh, these are both really cool. I do enjoy wearing these. And I kind of think Sterling is an underrated brand and a lot of people on the internet kind of bash them, throw them into kind of like the, the fashion watch, cheap garbage category. But I, I really feel that these are absolutely solid pieces and these will stay in the collection for the time being. I could see one or two of these, well, there's only two, but I could see one of these getting bumped for something else next year if I run out of space. But until then, these are pretty safe in the collection. The last dive style watch I have here is the good old Invicta Pro Diver. This is a watch that, you know, kind of started my YouTube journey because I saw how many people kind of hated on these. And I was like, oh, I, sh I should make a video because I kind of like it. So that's what I did. And that's kind of how this channel started. It wasn't the first video, but this this watch got a lot of support right off the bat when I made the video. So it's, it's sticking around the collection and it is a... I think a conversation starter. A lot of people who know watches think Invicta is either cool or garbage. So you can kind of gauge a person's vibe based off of that. And that's why he's sticking around. Next is the only day date that I have in the collection still, but it is the Katazen, the solid gold one. It's a little more yellowy gold than I prefer, but I do think this is a very nice watch. And it is probably one of the best ones I reviewed. I do like the Pagani one, but that's 36 millimeters. So I gave that one to my wife. That one I do think is better, but this one is definitely sticking in the collection. If I want to have this uh, vibe with the nice hidden clasp, this is the watch I go to. And I, I'm, I'm really happy with this one still. It does get worn a handful of times per year. It's not going to be an everyday watch, but I do enjoy it. Next up is the small Baltany. I don't wear this watch a ton, but I do think it is cool. Uh, it's also unscrewed, but we'll take care of that later. I think this is just a fun little piece to have. It's a little too small for my wrist, but I do want to hold on to it because I do really like it. And I think it is a cool kind of conversation starter also. And it's just a piece in the watch box that's different. And I like that. And it is just something that I can't see myself getting rid of. I do also really like this leather. I, I could probably actually put this band on uh, something else too. This is very similar to the one I have on the Pagani. So that's sticking around. Next up is I think my favorite edition of this year, but it's that Merker World Time. This one doesn't get worn a ton, but when I'm looking for something fun, this is the watch that I throw on. I really, really like this watch. I think it's the real cool vibe. I really love this leather uh, bracelet. It is very comfortable. It's supple. It's loose. You don't have that issue of you know waiting for it to warm up on the wrist. This is just an absolutely solid piece. And this is this is probably one of my favorite watches I have in the collection at the moment. And definitely, I think, my favorite grab of 2023. The next two I'll do together, and they are the Casios. We got the, the World Time Casio Royale, and then we got the little uh, 168W. These are both uh, totally different times, so I, I need to fix that. But these are just kind of cool watches, staple for the collections. You know, they're conversation pieces also. These are, you know, watch guy watches. I, you know, I made the video asking why this one is so popular. And it seemed like a lot of people kind of took it as I didn't like it. I was just trying to, you know, obviously get some clickbait. But I wanted to know why is it so popular. It wasn't because I didn't like it. I just wanted to know why was it popular. Why does 3,000 of them get bought per month? Um, but so yeah, these, these are both sticking around. These are really cool pieces and they're not going to leave the watch box. Also sticking around is the D done. This is kind of like the Nautilus style. Uh, once I fixed the second hand issue with it rubbing on the minute and hour hand, I really do enjoy this. It is a comfortable watch. I think it's really nice with the, the Tiffany blue colored face. It's just a really cool design. I love the Nautilus. I wish I owned an actual one. So until I do, this is probably the watch that sticks around, but this is just a real cool piece. This is up there. I think with watches from the year that I really enjoyed getting also, there aren't a ton that I've looked at and been like, Oh damn, that's real nice. But th this guy sticks around and it's a, it's a real, real solid piece. Next is the controversy starter sticking around in the watch box. Just because I always fight with people about it is the DIY watch club. Don't wear it ever. You know, I've, I've been very public on my opinion of DI Watch Club, but I do like to just keep it as a reference when people, you know, talk 
badly about my video that I made discussing why I think you should go with other options in the watch assembly kit world, but that stays in the watch box just for that. It doesn't get worn. Next up is the newest watch, which is the uh, Timex Gallatin. This is the Expedition. It is so far really cool. I can't wait to kind of rock this guy in the summer. I think that's when I'll get the most wear out of it. But it is so new to the collection that it, it hasn't left the, the box. It is watch box, that is. I can't say how much it'll get worn in 2024, but I know that this guy is going to stick around and I'm, I'm happy to have it in the collection. The next two I'll also do together, these are the dress watch category, but this is the Gorget and the Osna. As I did the video earlier in the year, pointing out how they are identical watches, they are. Uh, so basically it just comes down to what colorway I want to wear. I do really enjoy the watch itself, so that's why I've kept both of them. I do enjoy wearing it, so it it's good to have in the collection. And I wear it, you know, if I'm wearing like a button-down shirt or something and I want to kind of just have that little pop. I do love wearing my Rolex with a suit and all that kind of stuff, so I'm not the kind of guy that thinks you have to wear a dress watch in a dressy situation. But these two have stuck around for that reason. Sticking with the dress watches, I still also have the Lobini. This one doesn't get worn as much, but I do also think this is a really solid piece. So it has stayed in the box and I wear this when I'm not feeling the other two or I'm looking for just kind of like an overall different vibe. But those are my three dress watches that stick around and I really enjoy this one too. As I said earlier, you would see the Undone. So yes, the Undone is still in here. I really liked them when they were a super, super small uh, brand. I have it on this kind of knockoff style. I don't want to show the class because it is an actual knockoff, which I'm not proud of, but uh, I don't like to wear it out on that rubber because of that reason, but it's what I have it on at the moment. Uh, these guys have really kind of blown up in popularity, which I enjoy, and I think this is a really cool piece, but it doesn't get as much wrist time as I like, but I love that kind of tropical dial, you know, faded texture face. Really cool, really love it. Uh, it's sticking around for the time being. And then lastly, this is the Dan Henry. I don't wear this as much. This I may add this to the collection of watches that I'm currently selling, which I should talk about. The Timex Q, the San Martin Ghost Diver, and the GA2100 Cassioke. I still have those. They're not in the box because I am selling them. They are up for sale. If no one buys them, they may stick around and go back in the box. Uh, but this may join them. This is the Dan Henry. I do like it. I liked when I got it, but it just isn't, you know, getting the wrist time and I don't want to keep something that I think somebody else may enjoy and give it to somebody who can really enjoy this watch. So this, this may go, uh, in the near future, but yeah, that is the last watch I believe. All right. So all in all, that is the collection. These are the watches. Now you can see them a little closer with the, uh, case open um, but this this is the full collection this is what really is my pride and joy at the moment i'm happy to have all of these i know they don't all get worn they you know i kind of arrange them in that pattern that i just did the video in uh, if you have any suggestions as to other ways to arrange these or kind of other good cases this is definitely a fairly large watch box that I wish was smaller, but also fit more at the same time. So if anyone knows anything in that world, let me know. Uh, let me know which is your favorite in the collection. Comment, like, subscribe, do all the things. They help with my engagement. They help make me make more videos for you guys. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know which one you would pick, uh, which ones you would get rid of. And until next time, thank you everyone for watching. Thank you for this wonderful year. I hope I have some more watches to do this year, but if not, this is where I'll leave you guys for the holiday season. And uh, thank you all for being supporters, and I'll see you guys soon.